This episode is brought to you by Prolific, my online training program that gives you a deep dive into productivity, creativity, goal setting, and finding your life's mission. The program has been featured on Lifehacker, Entrepreneur Magazine, and Business Insider. It was created because I have been asked many times how I've been able to produce over 1,000 blog posts, hundreds of podcast episodes, and written over 30 books in a relatively short period of time. Prolific gives you all of my tactics strategies, and tools. Go to prolificcourse.com if you're interested. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Truth Booth. I am your host, Gordy Tamayo, joined by none other than the esteemed Rod Mitchell here. And uh, Rod is a former actor, Christian filmmaker, and member of various unusual leading edge ministries, and an early discoverer of our guest, Frank Viola, and his books. And so we're extremely excited to have this guest on board with us here today. Welcome, Frank. Thanks for joining us here on The Truth Booth. We're excited to have you. Happy to be on, man. One of the things that I think is just so great is the way that you highlight the world system, the two uh, false versions of the gospel, which you elaborate on and so on. So that we can begin to get a sense for what the warfare and the choosing and the work and the labor really is. Uh, this book has facilitated actual encounters w- with Jesus, with the Spirit, with God, and so on. Are there is there more in that realm, in that area that you could share with us so that people can get a notion of what, what they might experience when they're reading the book? Yes, absolutely. In fact, I strategically created a book to have the six parts all of which have short chapters that are easy to read and digest. But those six parts are all followed by a section called taking action. And the taking action section, what that does is it gives practical exercises for the reader to follow through with so that everything they have just read will become a living experience in their life. Rather than, this is just another book I read, let me tick the box, got another one in the hopper. Let me put it on my bookshelf. I'm done with that. Um, Most of the time when readers do that, they forget what's in the book and it doesn't become part of their life. So I wanted readers to be altered, to have their life riveted and Mm -hmm. changed by this Mm -hmm. book. And so the taking action sections, they're after every section of the book, all six parts. And the testimonials I've had from readers have gone from the breaking of addictions in their life. In one of the sections on the kingdom, there's a a part about addictions. And I give them a recipe for breaking an addiction that goes way beyond pray and read your Bible and get some friends to help you. It's very Mm -hmm. practical and it's worked in the lives of many, many people. So that's one area of testimonial is addictions broken. Another one is having a newfound joy in Christ from living in the kingdom. There is joy attached to the kingdom of God. Paul says it in Romans 14, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And he links that with the kingdom. Another one is the cure for lukewarmness. There have been Christians who have read the book that read it in a lukewarm state, and they were immediately cured from it (laughs) after reading it. Uh, It jarred something. It uh, awakened their spiritual instincts and their love for Christ. Another one is I give a recipe for starting a kingdom cell, which is not exactly a church because you only need two or three. And so kingdom cells have been created. They're the analog to the sleeper cells that the terrorists <laughs> you know, have. But these kingdom cells have cropped up all over the world and people are having rich face-to-face fellowship with Jesus Christ, the King, in these small groups in these kingdom cells. And so that's been a real big shift that people have had. But many people were touched by one of the chapters where I unveil the king's beauty. And to be able to be put in the situations in the first century and in the Gospels where you're the character. So instead of Jesus healing a blind person or touching the woman with an infirmity or saving the woman who was just about to get stoned because she was caught in the act of adultery, you're put in that position. You're the woman or you're the man who Jesus has touched and healed or delivered or rescued. And 
it's really helped a lot of believers to to connect their life with the Christ that's revealed in the New Testament. Who is the Christ who is on the throne today and who lives in us by the Spirit? So, mm -hmm. yeah, there's been a lot of testimonials along those lines. Those are just some examples. That's great. Okay, good. And I assume also you touched on this briefly that groups are using the book and, and it's they're having similar, it's facilitating similar encounters as groups and, and so on. Yes. The king themselves. Yes. yes, absolutely. Even some pastors have pre through the book with their congregations and taken them through the exercises. So that's wonderful as well. Okay, good. Let's talk a little bit about the supplemental podcast that you've set up and the website and all that sort of thing. So people get a sense of what sort of resources you've provided for people who haven't read the book and people who are reading it and after they finished it. So it's insurgents.org. Insurgents.org. Just one okay. word, insurgents.org. Okay. They can also go to my website, frankviola.org. And and they can find that book as well as the other books. And the two podcasts are on there. The one podcast we're talking about is the Insurgents podcast. And okay. that's a supplement to the book. I have six different conversation partners. We've done episodes together in person. And what we're doing right now in the early part of the podcast, we're over 100 episodes. We answered questions from readers about the kingdom, about the gospel of the kingdom, about applying it, some theological questions. We have been going going through every single reference to the kingdom of God in the New Testament chronologically, and we're treating every single reference. We're talking mm -hmm. about it. We're unearthing the riches in those passages, some of which are very challenging. And so that's going to be something we're going to continue until we get to the book of Revelation and we finish the last mention of the kingdom. So that's been a great supplement. Hey guys, this is a postscript just before you head out and we part ways. I have created a bundle of free resources sources. This would include my other podcasts, the YouTube channel, several free ebooks, free seminars, and other free resources. And you can find all of that at frankviola.com. And if you go to frankviola.com, you will see in the top menu a link that says free stuff. You just click on that and you will be taken to the free resources page. Also, a number of you have asked if you could donate to help defray the costs of the podcasts and also to express appreciation for the value that you've been receiving. You're under no obligation to donate. I don't ask for donations, but should you have it on your heart to do so, you can go to frankviola.us. That's frankviola.us. And that will take you to a donate page. There's three different options you can use to donate, all of them simple. Thank you very much, and God bless.